standard stance. Advancing. Just normal stance it so I can see what's around. Not seeing any bad guys. I don't think there's any armies actually in the city right now. Gather your strength. So we'll march all the way up to it. I return. How fair the people. And that's all I can do. Nope, we have an assignment to do as well. Right? No, next turn. Next turn. We have a surplus assignment. What's the yellow bar next to Commander's Pictures? I'll need to take a look when it loads. Oh. Liu Xiang is attacking Baxi. Baxi is... a town. They have two, three, four, five archers. One, two, three, cavalry. Two vanguards, which is a bit of a problem, and then a commander. Um, so what we're going to have to do here is just damage. And they're straight up attacking us. They haven't taken any time to siege or do any damage. It's not a walled city though, but there are going to be a lot of towers. We're outnumbered two to one. It looks like there's going to be a giant lake in the city. Kind of interesting to see. I don't think I've seen this map yet. Hadn't seen South Star the whole campaign, 137 turns. Turns out he lives on one of the islands in the south. Well, I mean, if it's secure. That is, that's a cool little lake. So water is in the game, confirmed. Now we just need boats to go on it. Rice paddies. I assume. Alright, so they are attacking us from two different directions. There are a bunch of towers here. Unfortunately, the towers will only shoot outwards. Uh, we do have a close combat package of troops. In fact, they're attacking me from three different directions. So we can set up three barricades. Also, on the interior, are there any towers? No. So all of our towers are exterior, which is a bit of a problem. I'm going to assume that you'll be attacking here. And probably this one. Probably this one. And then... Just in case... We'll leave an army there. And then the general is going to be back here so we can give his boost to whoever needs it. Archers. Four units to target, four units to target, and four units to target. <coughs> I think we'll put them on this side though. Well, no, because they'll very easily counter us here. We 
We seem to have invested the most troops in this area, so we'll put them there. And then barricade, barricade, just to make it slightly harder. Actually, we can barricade this. I didn't realize that was a thoroughfare. Thoroughfare, whatever. Oh, they're abandoning this side. over this side. Looks like this stuff's already falling, unfortunately. Not a whole lot I can do about it. And they've already crushed their way through this. Alright, so your main job's just going to be to hold them up. <laughs> so who's left? It's the boss man, and it's this guy. So this guy is going to be guarding on here. Boss man's going to be back here. And then the two archers are going to be in here. Too bad I set up these barricades now. The enemy warriors are running! Ha! Well, we've killed 1,600 of them, I think. Oh no, the water is moving. Very slowly. Couldn't quite tell if that was actually animated or not. Doesn't seem to be flickering and rippling very much, but that might be because I got VFX turned down. It's a bit of a traffic jam over here. Hopefully these good citizens will hold up their uh, incoming soldiers. See if they actually fight or not. Sometimes they do. No. I forget what game it was. I think it was Attila. You'd sometimes have citizens who come out and just try and, like, sneaky stab people. Sorry, Yellow Turban Warriors, but you're giving yourselves up for the cause. The enemy unit flees! What cowards! What cowards? We've done a number on their archers, actually. No, oh, for Pete's sake. I hate it when archers turn around just like, you know what? 
I'd rather stab that guy rather than shoot him. That's a great plan. Just like that. You're doing it again. Stop turning around. You're a shooter, shooter, not a stabber, stabber. Our warriors run, craven dogs. It was the barricade placement that screwed me because I couldn't get through here. You have improved in my estimations. Damn it. Oh, come on. Steal yourselves. Fight. The archers, please go to stabable face. Or shoot it then. New plan. Try and get as many towers back again as possible. Watch out. Get moving. Arrow. Keep it up. That's right. Move. Prepare. Move now. Ready. <laughs> These guys are only just arriving. Or not. Not sure what those guys are doing. Not sure they know what they're doing. We definitely did more damage than we would have if we delegated. That's the main thing. Like, my actual soldiers did almost nothing except one unit of archers, which was quite effective. Otherwise, it was just the towers and the fact that they attacked me in a bunch of different positions with lots of tower overlap. But now I'm going to have to retake this place. Actually, no, we lost. We killed more than we lost. Irritating. The Duchy of Wu has vassalized Yu Mixiang. We lost a large town. Well, we'll be there pretty quickly. Remain supple. Standard stance. No. Infantry of Jing. Jian Sword Guard Cavalry. Honor your ideal. Attack! Still only going to be worth... Oh no, that's casualties. For the people. Sack value, 4,500. So it's definitely lost rather a lot of its value. Lao Zhubao has become creative. Cool. Building stuff, faction development... Okay, cool. 
Are you ready for a fight? I would say that you are now ready. Focus your rage. And this can... Build something. Can't see what a fishing port would do. Yes, I can. Does it ever produce peasantry income? No. Oh, grain storage produces peasantry income. I didn't realise that. So apparently the Boglave units can have some archers pull out their pikes and brace while the rest shoot them to grant the unit charge reflect. Gustavus Aldolfus approves. One thing I have really been waiting for Total War to do is a pike and shot game. Like, they haven't done it yet, and I'm fairly sure that they can do it now. I don't know necessarily that the uh, technology would have been around, but I think they could do it now. I'd really like to see a, like a proper pike and shot type unit. Maybe with some kind of ability to choose how much of the unit is pikemen, how much of the unit is uh, shooters. Whether it be crossbows, archers, or archabeezers. Like a um, Spanish Tercio type era. 30 Years War, exactly. Total War 30 Years War I think would be really interesting. I think it would be a very interesting era to for this game to visit as well. Farmer housing or labour housing? That is the question here. Or I could even put a headquarters and then have the public order reduction for the adjacent enemy commanderies. Or a school. I just don't have enough money for the school, so I think I'm going to hold out. I'm not going to build anything. Steel for battle. Uh, you guys... Heading back over that way. Um, yeah, I think that's still the best idea. Okay. Southern Realms mod for Warhammer's Pike and Shot units. Kind of. They're pikemen units that have the ability to shoot shoot uh, crossbow bolts through an ability. I'd like to see an actual unit that can alternate between the two. Or better yet, do both. Yeah, possibly as a saga game. That could be interesting. Does this game have blood? Is that going to be a DLC? Uh, not as yet, but probably. Like, the reason they do blood as a separate DLC is to keep the age rating down, which I think is still a really good idea. I mean, yeah, they pay... Make you pay for it, which is a bit cheeky, but they also give it away quite frequently. Like, I haven't paid for any of the Blood DLCs because it's not my thing, but I think I've got it in all the Total Wars now. Um... Siege animation's really cool. Hadn't really noticed just how much detail there is. You've even got, like, fire arrows being shot outside. It's kind of cool. Trebuchets of loading mechanics. Anyway, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to fight a city. They're fighting me. Uh, yeah, they are fighting me. That's silly. Ooh. Interesting. I haven't seen this map before. 
Huh. Wonder which side of the river they're going to deploy. We should move quickly. Once we are done here, we can move on. Faye, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, the Dutch War for Independence would be good. I mean, that's all part of the Thirty Years' War, isn't it? What was it, the Eighty Years' War? I can never remember, it was a big war. A multi-year war. There we go. As your dragons in this game proves they have the technology to make pike and shot unit. If you have not seen them in action, that's the way they do it. Half the unit stands in front, kneeling with the glaive acting as a pike, while the other half stand behind shooting with a bow. And yes, that is exactly what I'm talking about. That kind of unit. Well, their reinforcements are going to be coming from over in that direction. I thought it was a frozen river for a moment there. That would have been even cooler. That's a bit of a weird artifacting, though. Is it frozen? Is it not? Is this iced? What's going on here? Admire my power. I can freeze things. I am the Ice King. Ha <laughs> ha I thought, you know what, this is an even bigger hill. This is a very worthy hill to defend. Force them to come up this. I think I like this plan. And this is one of my favourite uses of guerrilla trebuchets. You can position them ready to fire, like, straight away. It's great. Doesn't matter that it's in front of my lines. It means that my other units can rush to meet them, but it means I don't have to move the artillery. It's very, very helpful. The men of the forest have the same ability. I'm afraid my regular archers don't, but they're not going to have that far to run. And then we have two yellow turban warriors who have that ability. I'm going to try and keep a little bit more space between my archers and my regular troops this time. Shallow water, flowing brooks and forts can be dangerous for the unprepared. Infantry will have trouble crossing while cavalry are less bogged down. So it does just slow them down as they try to cross. I just really like this hill. This is a very nice hill. And if I was playing as the Empire right now, I could stick my cannons up here and my mortars over there. Or my repeater, what are they called? Organ guns. Cannons. I like this hill. I'll take ten. <laughs> it 
Slaps Hill. He can fit so many yellow turbans in this bad boy. Alright, let's get some troops set up and organized, shall we? I think I'm just going to go and draw a line and say, this is my line. You can't come in. It's mine. This is my line. There are many lines like it, but this one is mine. Go. More enemy reinforcements are arriving. Looks like a high elf lord. Who else wears feather hats like this? So what kind of troops are we expecting to come across here? No crossbows, so we're going to outrange them. That's very shallow water. That's got to be really cold. Look, I can freeze it as we go. That's the sound of things freezing, by the way. I should totally be a sound effects producer. Can't see behind this hill. This hill is too big. <laughs> 